Hi Libra, welcome back to my channel. It is me, Michelle, and I'm back with another reading. Please keep in mind that my readings have no date, they are divinely guided, everything has free will, and not everything is going to resonate with all of you. Also, the energies and the roles could be reversed. Just keep that in mind. And with that said, let's take a look, Libra. Let's see what the universe has for you. Let's see what kind of story, what kind of like story we can get. Let's see what message we can get for Libra. Please, Spirit, what kind of messages we have for Libra. Thank you so very much. I feel like I have... Okay, we got two of them. There we go. I miss your voice. Then we got... Remember that the devil was an angel. Let's see. Your eyes are the key to my soul. I want to take you out on a date. Period and last one. I want you so bad. Ooh, Libra, spicy, spicy. One more, please. Please, just one more. Thank you, Spirit. I've missed you so much, but I don't know what to say. At the bottom right here, we have I'm afraid to being vulnerable. Expect a call or a message. Distance in reverse. So, um, Yes, there's distance in between you and your person. This could be, like I said before, and I think I've been getting this for Libras a, a while back. This could be a long-distance relationship. And if it's not that, it could be physically, like emotionally, like you can feel like you are detaching or your person is detaching from you. But your person is missing you most definitely with the I miss you card. Also, when they're telling you that, remember that the devil was an angel. It's like this person is not a saint. We know that. And there's a lot of temptations here. I feel like your person is really sexually attracted to you and the same thing with you i see temptation over and over here um this person wants you and they missed you though and it's like they just don't know how to act they don't know exactly what to say because your person is not really good with vulnerability you know let's see what kind of what else can we get for libra today spirit please what else can you give me for libra please and thank you what else for libra 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 let's see what else can we get for libra thank you spirit so we have follow your own good advice trust yourself you know what is best for you so i feel like yes this connection is telling you that trust your your intuition i feel like yes we tend to ask for advice from others but at the end of the day this is your choice this is your call and do not listen to everything or everybody's opinion about this person do not do that do not uh let's say um judge a book by its cover give your chance to get to know this person and you make your last decision because it's telling you at the end of the day is your choice um what to do or what not to do you know good or bad is your choice then we have all in the golden afternoon inspiration creativity imagination conception so I feel like you are being really creative at this point, Libra. You are actually creating a lot when it comes to your job or so. I feel like this person's uh, presence in your life has actually activated your inner creativity. Also, I feel, this is intuitive here, that you're going to be receiving a message or a call throughout the afternoon. That's when this person is going to reach out here. Let's see what else we got. Thank you, Spirit. Then we got messages for a rabbit. Service to the animal world. Okay, my intuition is telling me again that you're going to receive a message. It's going to be sooner than expected. It's going to be something really, really short. And you have, and you know that the rabbit's foot is pretty much like, it's like luck is on your side. That's what I'm getting. Then we have almost have crisis trying to please everyone so i feel like you are uh, sometimes you try to please everybody um it's telling you that you need to step up your to your game and again this could be with this card right here like let's say that not let's say that it's your family who don't like this person or this could be vice versa if you're dealing with a libra or so it's telling you that at the end of the day is your call you cannot not everybody's going to be happy with your decision not everybody's going to you know so at the end of the day the only person who has to be uh pleased and happy about any decision that you take in life if it's love life if it's about career or so it's you if it makes you happy that's the only person that matters and one more please one more thank you spirit we have who in the world are you <laughs> getting to know the new you so i feel like 
again you have been going through an awakening this person did not know a lot about you or at the time when they when they met you right you were uh different after you have been awakening little by little you have grow growth a lot and that's why this person is going to be like who are you again so i feel like you guys are going to get the chance to get to know this person and this person going to get the chance to get to know you and investigate right here um look close ask questions things before acting so i feel like you guys are going to be talking a lot to this person i feel it's going to be a lot of uh, questions not only from your side but from their side because it's like they don't really know you a lot and they're going to be like okay so what's this what's that what do you do so it's a chance of having an open conversation without judging and it's like getting to know each other and asking the questions that you guys maybe never did in the past you know okay so let's see what can you give me for Libra about the situation? Please, Spirit. We got the uh, Page of Swords. Thank you, Spirit. And we have the Four of Pentacles right here. So I feel like there was like a stop into this connection. Um, you stopped trying and they stopped. Um, and they stopped like pretty much. You stopped trying and I, I wouldn't say they stop anything. They're just doing the same thing they have been doing for a long time, which is nothing. I feel like this person is really stuck, really stubborn. And they just um, don't do much, you know. They just, let's say if you texted them or so, they will, like, take forever to reply or not. or not. And it's like your person was in a really bad place when it comes to money. Um, I know money is not everything, but for your person, finance issues, especially when you are an adult and you have to pay your bills, was a big thing that he he or she cannot pay their bills uh, nicely. It was like struggling. And that actually, they were not paying attention to you as much because of that situation. And your person is still, uh, you stop trying and this person uh, was in a really bad situation when it comes to money, you know. But look at this. With the five of cups right here in the reverse. They were not showing it off, but they were really unhappy. This person, again, could be drinking beer, anything, alcohol, you know? But look at this with the lovers right here. You had both, you both have mutual feelings with the lovers. Gemini energy here. And I feel you also with this uh, page of uh, swords right here. You were waiting for communication. You were waiting for uh, movement. But your person was unable to because they were in a really heavy situation if you're not if it's not with money it was with their environment you know with their um spouse or so hold on sorry that was my the mailman not mine but the mailman anywho like i said before there was mutual feelings and i know that i mean i feel you were expecting too much from this person and that's why it's telling you right here that to investigate because you did not know what was going on in their life and uh, this person was really unhappy having a lot of addiction issues uh when it comes to alcohol or anything else but there was mutual feelings here it was just like not the right time the sun right here um leo energy and then we got the two of cups gemini leo energy as well um i feel like yes the mutuals were the the feelings were mutual here and you both had like brought happiness to one another thank you spirit the queen of swords but i feel at this point libra you were the one expecting like okay we like each other let it out let do something for me like do something you know and it's because at this point you weren't more ready than this person to to give you anything um again with the five of pentacles your person was struggling a lot with with money and if they were in a relationship they really really they were really unhappy they were really unhappy in this connection in this specific um relationship and that's why they couldn't give you the the, the that's why they did not approach you the way you wanted it with the full card in reverse that's why they did not jump in into this connection with you that's why they just walked away they were not really happy and they just were in a really messed up place with hair fun right here um your person could be dealing with a really religious family and uh again if they knew that you let's say somebody saw something about you that you were like a different religion or so 
that could cause a lot of issues and and that's why they couldn't like move forward or move towards your side or so this also means that this is a spiritual connection as well again there was a lot of uh, mutual i see mutual feelings mutual 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 you know i don't see you thinking that oh no they don't they they love me and i see otherwise no they did have feelings for you with the three of ones they wanted to approach you they wanted to have a relationship with you but they couldn't look at this the three of cups there was which is not anymore but there was a third party interference right here this person was with somebody else and with the king of uh, cups right here in the reverse this could be pisces cancer scorpio energy as well this person could not offer you anything because they were already involved in a relationship with somebody else. Um, with the six of ones right here, they were in a really open relationship. What I mean by that is like a lot of their family knew about this. The fam His family or her family liked the person that they were dating because they could have been dating this person for a long time. But um, that's why they couldn't do anything. That's why they got also afraid. They have a lot of respect for their family. For example, grandma, an aunt, a mom. And they just did not want to disappoint anybody. That's what I'm getting when it comes to breaking up with that person. Because even though that they were not completely happy with them, their family like the person that they were with, you know? So this is a family person here that you're dealing with. I'm not saying that you're not a family person, but they put family first, like, a lot. Okay, so what is this person's um, um future actions towards Libra? What is their future actions? With the two of pentacles in the reverse, at least you're not going to get a wishy-washy energies anymore. This person is not um, confused. This person is not going to play games. With the five of swords right here, um, they have missed you a lot, and they haven't been able to move on from, from you this uh relationship that they were involved with it's over they're not with that person no more that relationship had no future it was dead a long time ago even before you but you did help them to realize that it was completely dead that they were actually not invested anymore that they did not like this person that they actually were um ready to go with somebody else you know thank you spirit with the sun card in the reverse and the queen of swords right here even though they want to come towards you and or walk towards you they are um unsure if they should do it because they feel that you don't want them no more they feel that you're not waiting for them no more and that's a little bit of an unsureness there with the ace of pentacles i feel like you're gonna still hear from them there's gonna be a big chance because i feel this is divinely guided this uh a chance of a new relationship and they're gonna actually test the waters sending you a message or to see if you still care, uh, maybe to see if you're single or or if you're not single, maybe to see if you're really serious or happy in your relationship if you are with somebody else. With the start card right here, this is Aquarius uh, energy here. Um, yeah, they, they actually have a lot of feelings for you. They have a lot of feelings for you and I feel a lot of time has passed by between you two and the feelings are still there and i feel like the more time has passed this person has developed more feelings for you and i feel like there was this was something that you really wanted this was something that you really really wanted and with the temperance right here there was a lot of uh, distance there was a lot of time it's been a while you know and i feel like even though that it's been a long time um you still have feelings for this person you know and i feel like you still wait on them and you still hope for to get to hear from them or to see if this could work out or so you know thank you spirit okay they told me to do it again so let me do it again but i feel like yes this even though that time has passed by you both want one another like your feelings for them and their feelings for you haven't changed much like they still like you they still want to be with you they will like to be with you with the two of ones in the reverse, even though that they have moved on with their life, when I when I talked about that, it's like maybe career wise or so, and I feel like they have a lot of like success or they're seeing success when it comes to career or so. They're really not happy because they don't have you, and they will like to share their success and to be with you and be successful. And that's why there's a little bit of a of unsatisfaction here because they're not really with you to be able to express and share their success you know with the ace of swords right here this person is going to come in fast i feel this person is going to take a risk okay this person is not a risk taker okay this person is not a risk taker um 
because of past experiences this person has become uh comfortable you know and they just don't like to take risk because they kind of like to know what the outcome is going to be which is actually really hard to do but this person likes to they don't like rejection and i know nobody does that but they are really afraid of that so it's like they they do things when they know they can get it like let's example if they go and hang out with somebody that they're not really in love with and they just want something from them you know what i mean and they know they can get achieve it they actually make the move but when they have a lot of feelings for somebody not only physically but when they like somebody when they like like somebody they overthink their moves a lot their moves a lot because if they only let's say they only want to fuck somebody and they just try to approach them and they reject them yeah they don't feel happy but they're not gonna take it like so hard and so difficult right but when they have attraction and they also like you like you if you reject them it's gonna be harder on them you know so that's one of the things that they discover about you is like they liked you liked you it was more than a fuck so it's like the fucking i'm sorry if i'm if i'm cursing but this is just me you know that's why my videos are not for kids um when they when they they realized that it was just more than having sex with you um they they took their precautions they took their cautions and all that because they're like oh my god if this person rejects me it's gonna take a lot for me to get over it so this person is gonna make a really risky move it takes a lot of strength and they're really really scared but they have to do it because they can't keep on wondering how are you and if you want them back they, they just want to know you know with a 901s right here Again, this person is really guarded up because this person has been hurt before. And, I mean, you are intimidating for them because they like you so much and they are, it's something that they cannot even explain. They like you so much that they are scared of you in a good way. It's because you make them super nervous. It's like they don't know how to act around you. And even though that they're scared, Look at this, the nine, the ten of ones in the reverse, and the wheel. Um, it has been too much of like a pressure, a lot of like weight for them to try to move on, with those thoughts and those uh desires of talking to you and being with you that they cannot do that no more. So they're gonna stop that, and it's like I'm gonna stop it right now. Like I'm gonna ask her out, ask him out. If he says no, she says no, I'm done. You know. So with the wheel of fortune, it's like they haven't been able to move too far when it comes emo when. It well, I'm talking I'm talking emotionally here okay emotionally they're not going they haven't gotten too far so they want to you know just to stop being stale and like they want to know they want to know so they're going to move forward there's a lot of intention here a lot of desire here look at this the 301s they can't be the way they are right now like it's like I'm not moving anywhere look at this nine of swords they're having dreams about you they're stressing out they just can't stop thinking about you it's like they're going nuts so just be aware that this person is going to be reaching out uh, sooner than expected. It's going to come to like, you're going to be really shocked about this person's communication. You're going to be shocked about this person's uh, real intentions and feelings for you. Um, but they're going to tell you a lot of like emotional stuff. This person is really emotional and they could be. And that's something that you did not know. But their next uh, move is to talk to you to see if you still want them back. Yeah, look at this. The five of pentacles. They're really unhappy and they want to end up that. They want to end that. So what is the outcome between Libra and this person, Spirit, please? What is the outcome, please? Oh, that one card went flying. Okay. Look at this. The nine of swords right here. Person coming in fast. This person could be far from you. Like I said, this person is not around you and this person is willing to fight for you because they know that you have options that you're that or that you have somebody else and they don't care they don't give a flying f you know they want to come in and they come in and fast with actions and communications is this person is so dis decisive and so tunnel vision about what they want that is surprising let's see what kind of energies okay what is this person's energies towards uh libra let's see what is their real energy let's see let's see what is their energies Okay, let's see energies. Energies. The thinking woman. It don't really matter if it's a girl or a boy. This has no gender. But here it's telling you that this person is thinking about you a lot. That this person has been talking about you a lot. 
talking about you. I don't know why I said that, but this person has been talking about you a lot with somebody. And this person has been watching you in silence. But this person is thinking, it has been thinking about you a lot and dreaming about you lately. Hold stillness. Look at this. This person has a... Uh, put like a bit front of like i don't care i'm so i don't care like i don't care but this person is really soft when it comes to you it's like you bring the softness in them and that is one of the things that makes them nervous you know thinking man oh my god like thinking woman thinking man so this person has been thinking about you a lot i feel you have been thinking about them a lot as well because like this is a mutual energy but i feel this person has messed you a lot and they have think about you a lot and they're gonna communicate okay they're going to they're going to communicate because it's like there's intention look at this attachment right here this person is pretending that they're moved on from you that there's no like nothing special but they are are really attached to your energy so be aware that this person is going to be communicating because this person does care this person does care look at this 701s in the reverse right here um it's like they don't want you with anybody else they're jealous if you are with somebody else and just be aware that whenever you date this person this person um it could be a little bit possessive and it's not just a good thing it's just because of like past experiences you know but this person is quite jealous just be aware of that that they don't like other people hitting on you um and they're going to stand their ground when it comes to be like no she's my girl he's my man and stay away from them you know so it's like they feel like you are theirs and they're going to come in and take you because it's like no you're not supposed to be with them you're supposed to be with me the knight of cups right here this could be a water sign as well pisces cancer scorpio yep look at this coming back like hey this is my cup i want you take it <laughs> This person has feelings for you. And look at this. It's five of ones right here. They don't care about the competition because some some deep down, they feel like you want them back. And that they have you. Like, they feel like you and them have a, a deep connection. And they go like, you know what? I don't give a flying fuck. You want me to take my cup and F everybody else. Because look at this with the four of ones right here. They see themselves as marrying you being with you forever because they have a lot of feelings for you and they don't like competition okay they they hate competition but they deep down even though they're insecure they know that you love them too you know it's just a little bit of jealousy but this person wants to marry you and you guys might be marrying this person eventually and the two of pentacles right here there's no indecision no more there's no wishy-washy energies no more like the three of swords right here again there's a lot of fear of break of heartbreak there's a lot of fear of rejection here there could still be a third party situation yet maybe in your side their side um the eight of pentacles right here i mean they don't want to waste your time they don't want to waste your time so if you're uh wondering like oh my god they're gonna waste my time they're gonna they're gonna break my heart they don't want to do that okay they don't want to waste your time or their time okay they're not the kind of people that invest time and effort into something that they know they really don't want so whenever they want somebody and if they put the effort it's not something that they tend to do a lot this person again does not tend to put a lot of effort when they don't want something or when they just want one thing and that's it no this person doesn't tend to reach out back to an ex or to somebody um, the way that they're going to do with you because they just they just take and leave you know what i'm saying but this person wants you for real and this person will come back and they don't want to waste your time or theirs and with the knight of, of the king of swords right here this person is going to actually open up to you and they're not going to be as cocky as they were in the past so you're going to see a different side of them look at this pisces energy the moon card right here um is somebody coming out from the from the dark this person could have ghosted you or so and this person is going to come back into your life again it's like coming out from the bottom of the lake of, of the ocean it's coming back again like a zombie <laughs> 
the lovers gemini energy here again this person wants you look at this this person has they're in love with you and they want to actually have a family with you so the outcome is like you guys getting together if you decide to work things out with this person you will but there's a chance of a happy family and again if you don't want to get pregnant with this person use protection but this person has a gigantic chance of getting you pregnant okay but this person has desire of being with you having kids and having a home with you like i said before this person like look, look at this they want you they want you like a lot of wants this is leo energy as well there's a lot of intention and wanting and desire to be with you and again they don't want to break your heart no more and they're afraid of breaking your heart or breaking their own heart but that's just afraid they're just afraid you know like love is something really complicated but i feel this person is coming back and they want a relationship with you like legit if you take them you know so let's see what kind of let's see libra let's see what um crystal i can give you let's see a crystal for libra please spirit thank you okay they told me to do it again and i'm gonna do it again let's see a crystal for libra let's see what kind of crystals for libra thank you spirit look at this blue lace agatha this crystal is for you let me see if you can see it there if not i'm gonna put it here that is your crystal libra they told me to check out the bottom and you can also get an amethyst as well if you want this might help you make decisions protection you know or if you want to buy buy a new crystal that's a good option for you so let's see one card for libra just one card for libra from your angels let's see libra let's see one card for libra thank you spirit Oh, they told me to do it again? Okay. Because they told me that I should not take it. I should have let it drop. I got called out right away. Okay. Thank you, Spirit. There you go. <laughs> Strength and guidance. That's your card from your angel. Strength and guidance for you. And let's see at the bottom. We got self-acceptance. Self-love, honey. You got to love yourself first, okay? And towards the end of the reading, you guys know that I always offer a number. This number is given to you by your angels and or ancestors. So let's take a look. I got called out again. Okay, okay one part, one, one number for Libra, please. Okay, tell me to get this 54. Okay. Oh, 45. So you got number 45. 45, it is your number, Libra. That is your number for you, for you. That is your number there. They told me to give you one more card with this. So let me do that real quick. This is going to be last card for you, Libra. Let's see. Thank you, Spirit. True love. It says, this is the romance of your lifetime. So, if you were doubtful, there you go. True love. This person is your true love. So, there you go, Libra. A comeback of your lifetime. Be ready, honey. Seems intense. So, this is the end of your reading. Thank you so much for sticking around. Please like and subscribe, and I'll be back every week with more readings. Love you. Bye.